<coughs> Hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome to Total War 1942, a mod for Rome to War and Rome to War Barbarian Invasion. Unfortunately, I'm using the Nvidia Shadow Play recorder, so the video will be cut in many smaller parts if it's too long, and I will need to use a video editing program or tool in order to combine the different parts of the movie. Okay, we will fight this battle, Finland versus the Soviet Union. I'm playing my submod of the mod released on December 30th, 2021. Uh, changed some, st some stuff. Okay, so, so there will be like the maximum numbers in the battles. We only have two armies. One full-sized Finnish army and one full-sized Soviet e army. Okay, so in the Finnish army, we can start with the worst unit. We have one unit of riflemen, basic like militia unit, and then we have assault infantry. They are, I believe, um, I believe they are. Let's see, I think they are unique for the Finnish faction. So they are riflemen. I believe are shark the Germans, and the assault infantry. They are unique for the Finnish. They have a unique helmet and unique color skin and then we have the anti-tank unit I believe they are shared with um, I suspect they are shared with the Italians or they are unique for the Finnish I don't know and then we have the I don't remember and then we have the scout snipers they are shared with the Germans we have the Molotov throwers throwing bottles at the enemy that explode they, they consist uh, I believe the bottles consist of like a chemical substance that it's very explosive okay so they are unique for the Finnish and, and or for the Finns and then we have the ski troops they are also unique for Finland then we have one unit of Stokes mortar artillery and four units of pack 40 German artillery so the, the pack 40s and the Stokes mortars I believe are shared with Germany crews are riflemen I believe then we have the Panzer IVs, they go from Germany, and the T-34 Soviet tanks that they captured during the Winter War of 1939. They have a few of the Soviet T-34 tanks too. Then they have a unit of anti-aircraft trucks. I believe I added for Finland this submod. I added uh, a few units to, to each faction, I believe. Uh, this truck, I believe, was unique to Germany. I added it to Finland as well, I thought it fit their colors. Uh, then we have the Messerschmitt that they got from Germany, the Hurricane that they borrowed from Britain, and then I added the TU-88 uh, twin engine uh, bomber and fighter uh, plane, because they got that in, in history. And then we have the Armored Officer's Car General. Okay. Three new units, I believe, for the sub mode for Finland is the, the anti aircraft truck and the U 88 plane. I also believe that they might have gotten the anti tank unit from, uh, from Italy or something, unless it's uh, a Finnish unique unit, but I think they got that too. Okay. And we have the Soviet Union. They are not using the Boeing B-17 heavy bombers that they borrowed from the American faction. It's in history, I believe, that uh, America then leased a bunch of stuff to the Soviet Union after, like, uh, 1942. But uh, in this battle between Finland and Soviet, we do not want them to use uh, American planes, because that would be wrong. The Americans would help Finland in the Winter War volunteers from America at least and uh, during World War II I believe they didn't fight the Finns so I don't think that they would lend lease any bombers to the Soviets fighting the Finns so, so this plane won't be used by a Soviet air but in the campaign they have it and it's available for custom battle if uh, you want to for example play Soviet versus uh, Japan or Soviet versus uh, Germany uh, so they got these planes in history from America, or at least had similar planes. 
I thought every faction should have at least one bomber and one fighter. They had two fighters previously. They had the anti air of trucks as well. So I just gave them this bomber, seeing as they are allied to the Americans in the campaign and such. Okay, so their units, they have the riflemen. All factions have riflemen. And they have the assault infantry, unique one for the Soviets. They have the tank units and scout snipers and I believe both of them are Soviet uh, Soviet textured so they are intended for Soviet we have the Stokes mortar everyone has them then we have the ML-20 their basic artillery piece or artillery gun it's a unique one for the Soviet Union then they have the Su-18 another unique one and the Su-5 the S-51 and then they have the best one, the Katyusha like uh, rocket trucks all of these are unique to Soviet, only the Stokes mortar is shared with others other factions have riflemen and some of them have assault team uh, I believe all, all factions have riflemen and uh, most if not all have assault infantry as well uh, and the tank uh, units and uh, scout snipers they are only available to some of the factions not everyone has them uh, but the soviet ones have unique skins and unique numbers they have their unique and tries they are not their skins so for example if a soviet infantry unit fights uh, a german one they will have uh, way more soldiers okay and then we have tanks we have the ms1 light tank the soviet union unique tank and they have the T-34 they are uh, supposed to be unique for Soviet but Finland got some of their tanks in the winter war Finland is the only other faction that has access to T-34s but I believe Finland has a unique skin for them with the Finnish banners <coughs> the Finnish Sostiga banners that they had in World War II because they had received the, the Sostiga as their coat of arms from Sweden actually after their uh, war of independence in 1918 where they won independence from the Soviet Union it was before the Nazis and, and their swastika is a little bit different of course they changed the, the coat of arms after World War II okay and uh, we have the T-485 it's a T-4 with a better turret it, it can fire a much better projectile unique for the Soviet Union then they have the ES-3 their best tank, their heavy tank and it's also unique I believe the Chinese Chinese, they have access to a IS-2 uh, I believe one of the Chinese factions, there are two there is the Mao faction and then there is the Republic of China faction and I believe one of them has access, if not both, have access to the IS-2 the IS-3 is an improved IS-2 with a better turret, I believe. Okay. And then we have the anti-aircraft truck. They have two of them in battle. And then they have the... Big 3s. No, they should have... Um, Yak-9. The first one. And then a Mig 3, their better one. Both are fighters. They have no bombers. I didn't want them to use the American planes against Finland. Finland had uh, anti aircraft trucks from Germany. They had Messerschmitts from Germany, hurricane planes that they got in the winter war from Britain, and they have U 88 that they got in the continuation war from Germany. Okay, let's fight the battle on the battle. So I wanted to do some battles, in custom battle with 1942, Total War 1942 using my summer. So it's winter time, very fitting a battle between Finland and Soviet, we will just retreat with this unit. Here we have the general. Alright, we do not have an army except the general. 
both of the armies will be controlled by the AI. We'll just watch the AI and, and uh, command. We will retreat with our little jeep force here. General Spodegard will retreat immediately. We'll take a look at the Finnish army. So we have uh, the maximum number of units. So one unit of planes are quite numerous here. Here we have the one of the fighter planes. And we have uh, even more. We can't really read their names here. But we can if you hold the mouse on the shadow. Here we have the hurricane planes. The other ones here are the Messerschmitt German planes painted for the Finnish army. Then we have the huge Finnish army. This is just one army. Huge number of, of tanks and such. Take a look at these troops first. We have the anti aircraft trucks here. At least one unit. See that there are men inside here. So these trucks are shared with Germany. They fit the Finnish army as well, colors and everything. But it's a unique unit for Germany in 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 the official mode. We have the anti-tank guns. Actually, they are unique to Finland, I believe. They have unique Finnish skins. They variant from Italy. They are unique for Finland. Yeah. They have anti-tank infantry. I believe the anti-tank uh, and grenadier units are fewer in numbers. I didn't want them to be too many. They were OP. But the ordinary infantry are very numerous here. here uh, by the way, in the campaign you can use uh, maximum huge size, but it's very difficult to, to order troops around in cities. So it's the siege battles that, that cause trouble when you play on huge in this sub mod. Uh, if you play fights on the battlefield uh, they work fine. And uh, it's, it's very epic uh, and, and they have uh, a huge number of troops. Uh, but in the campaign I suggest using large unit size is still more numerous than old huge. Leave old huge for an infantry unit where like eight men in a unit. But now large is one hundred twenty so it's better and more numerous. But in uh, in the custom battles, or if you play on huge, then then they are 240 in a unit, so that's even more than 120. And worked fine on battlefield, just not in siege battles, because they are so numerous that they do not follow orders when you order them to move around in a city, they just stand still, because they are so numerous that the AI can't really make use of them in the narrow pathways of, of the cities. All the cities in this mod are custom German cities now. We have large towns, t towns, uh, large cities and cities. We do not have a huge city because that's supposed to be Berlin and it wasn't finished um, in this version. I believe a later version of the mod has it too. And it's a huge city. And, and then uh, I believe uh, the Reno villages, they decided to not make villages there earliest level of a sit settlement is a town and only the capitals are huge cities so here we have assault infantry machine gunners and all of that is just one unit we have the riflemen the rifles one unit Then we have the army. Have some Stokes mortar artillery here. Only one in this unit. They are numerous. They have like six in a row. Maximum number. So even one unit is pretty powerful. The unique Finnish crewmen. They were strong. They didn't have German crewmen. They have a unique Finnish skin. They have the German Pack 40 artillery, still with a unique Finnish skin for the 
crews, I believe the troops are the same as the Germans. They have different colors. The helmets are green. I believe they are gray for the Germans. The Pac 40s are the same in terms of artillery pieces. So the Soviet Union has the same Stokes mortars. Then they have similar unit to this one. Then they have a lot of artillery that is better than this. So, so the Finns have a clear disadvantage when it comes to the artillery. They believe they have a, an advantage when it came to the. They have a disadvantage when it comes to the anti-aircraft trucks too, because they have only one. Well, the Germans, uh, I mean the Russians, uh, the Soviets, they have uh, two units of anti-aircraft trucks. Uh, when it comes to the infantry. <coughs> they have about the same numbers of um, tanks as the infantry riflemen, but I believe that the in, in this sub mod I've maxed up the numbers, so it should be the same as for the the Soviets. You can't have more than 240. But in the official mod, I believe that Soviet Union has more numbers infantry, while while everyone else has fewer numbers. Okay, uh, so the Pek 40s are good, but don't stand much of a chance against the Soviet artillery. It's like Germany's second worst artillery, because the Germans they also have the Stokes mortar, the worst artillery in the game, and then then they have the, the, the Pek 40s, and then they have a lot of other artillery that is better than the Pek 40s. Finland only has the Pek 40s. We have the General's bodyguard, the armors o armored officer c officer's car, <coughs> scenic crew, machine guns, used as their weapons, 48 cars in a unit, we have more artillery behind artillery uh, behind the jeeps, For the armored officer's cars. They have more infantry. We have the scout snipers. They are also nerfed. They are not 240 in, in the unit, but they are 120. <coughs> Way more numbers than, than in uh, the official mod. So they are also quite powerful. And then we have the volatile throwers. They are probably fewer. No, uh, yeah, the, the Molotov throwers. No, they are 240. They might be really good here. Uh, I believe the grenades are nerfed. They aren't that many. But the, the Molotov throwers, they are pretty much grenadiers. Throwing bottles that explode instead. So they might be overpowered. But Finland kind of needs that. Okay, so we have a unique infantry unit here from Finland. Bottles. No other faction has this unit. There are other factions that have grenadiers that throw grenades instead. Okay, but they are fewer in numbers. Then we have the unique ski troops of Finland. Unique animations, really cool unit. And they s stop to, to fire their rifle. I believe they have a really cool unique animation for it. And they also have a unique animation for they they are fast, unlike normal cavalry. The only problem with the unit is that in, in the summer it's impossible to separate the, the, the unit from, from summer. Most of the campaign is summer, I believe a third of the campaign is winter. So it's a really cool unit, unique for Finland. Then we have the tanks. Finland only has two variations of tanks. We have the Panzer Force that they borrowed from Germany with their own skins and symbols. So Germany's worst tank is the Panzer 1 in this game and I believe that's a light tank. And then they have the Panzer 4 as their second worst tank, the, the medium tank. And then they have the Tiger and the King Tiger and the Mouse, I believe. Uh, so uh, <coughs> Finland has the Panzer as their worst, Panzer 4. It's a medium tank with a medium shell being fired. Still better than the Panzer ones and better than the worst tank of the Soviets. I believe also that it might be better than the T 34s. I'm not sure which one is better there or it has better defense but worse attack. 
or the opposite better attack towards defense. So you have a lot of German Panzer IVs. And then they have uh, more of them. So it's a transfer force at the front. Then they have T-34, their best tank in the army. Soviet tanks, they are better than the transfer force, I believe. Not much better. Four seems to have better attack. The turret seems to be better, but the, the armor might be better for the T-34, or it's the opposite. I don't know. But uh, Finland has a lot of tanks, but uh, only of two types. As they are a smaller, minor faction. The game. Finland also has some planes over here. They have the U-88, Finn engine, multiple roll aircraft borrowed from Germany. They got these planes in history too. So I added them to Finland the sub mod. They are like bombers in the game because they can't be both fighters and bombers in the war. So they are bombers. They are easy to shot down but they, they are pretty good when they hit with their bombs. They are not as good as the other Boeing uh, plane. Boeing 17 plane from America. So start the battle, pause the game, take a look at the Soviet Union. So they have their army far behind. I mean far 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 away. Okay, so we have some infantry can't read their names, they're too far away. Here we can see they have like infantry, riflemen. Oh, these are the riflemen. Yeah, I think they are riflemen. I have more of them. Assault infantry, different assault weapons than the Germans and the Finns. Use the different assault weapon, assault gun, or machine gun. Okay, so this unit, I believe these are the snipers of the Soviet Union. Snipers. Really long rows of troops. Uh, a tank. This might be their best tank, the IS-3. Not certain. It might be. Clearly superior to anything Finland has. IS-3 huge heavy tank. The Soviet Union. Then they have the T-3485s, t 34 s with a better turret, also better than the T-34s of course, it's an improved vari variant of the tank. Then they have the ordinary T-34s, the Finland has. Then they have the light tanks. These guys, they are worse than anything Finland has. So they have one tank that is worse, one tank that is the same, and two tanks that are superior. Okay. 
This is the light tank Finland. And we have the, uh, the, the, the rock tracks. They are really good. The best artillery probably in the game. The most effective artillery at least can move around and fire at the same time. Unlike any other artillery pieces that uh, can only move and they are not firing. Okay, then we have the, the aircraft tracks. They had two of these units. It would be similar to ours. They have two units instead of one. But Finland should have the upper hand in anti-air stuff because the trucks are easy to hit with bombs. And Finland has one more unit of planes instead. Okay, so the anti aircraft tracks. Then we have more infantry. Now, artillery actually, we have the Stokes Mortar. They have one such unit. Same as Finland. And they have other artillery. This unit. Really good artillery in the back here. Really heavy static artillery. They can move around with the crew. They have the officer's bodyguard or armored officer's car. One unit. Every arm has one of those. And then uh, they have this unit, their ver version of the uh, Pack 40. Named something else, the Soviet version. Should be similar. The unique sound when they fire. I believe the Eggwax added unique custom sound for it. This is actually based on reality, so they sound like in real life. Here they have another unit of artillery. It's pretty good. Might have missed a few infantry units somewhere. Okay, we can start the battle. We will retreat with our jeep. These guys look like the assault infantry. Here we have, I believe, ordinary riflemen. Here we have more ordinary riflemen, they have two units of riflemen, unlike Finland. Okay. Here are the anti tank, no. They are the assault infantry. Ah, uh, here we have the anti-tanks. They are fewer in numbers. My unit of Jeeps just left the battlefield, which is good. Here we have the snipers. They were probably invisible until I started the battle. Yeah, they can hide in the terrain. Probably forgot to place the army in uh, attack formation. The Soviets were supposed to attack. I suspect that it's Finland that will attack here. They're moving forward, they're playing. The U-88 are already firing their bombs. Fighting off against the Jack-9 fighters and the MiG-9s. I believe uh, that the Soviet planes will have the advantage in that fight because the bombers are very good against infantry and against tanks and artillery but they are not good in plane dogfights so they might actually lose in the air a 
only the big air bombers of America and Britain, they that, that are borrowed by some factions like Soviet, they, they are good against the planes too. Look at this, they are slaughtering troops on the ground. Soviet is bringing forth their, their aircraft trucks. The planes are bombing them, the U-88s better than I remembered, I, I might have, bo uh, have uh, boosted their stats a bit because they sucked in, in the older version when I played Germany they were killed very easily here we have the ski troops their unique ski animation they, they even move the staffs and uh, run around like if they were skiing they can also take uh, up their arms the rifle and fire. You hear the sound of the anti aircraft trucks there. We need to move and check other parts of the battle. Over here we have. Uh, Aircraft tracks of Finland. We have the heaps of the officer. Some Finnish T 34 tanks. Bomberage from the planes. And we have the artillery, Soviet. Firing two. Okay. Ten percent allies killed, and three percent enemies killed. The Finland has done a good job taking out the Soviet troops from the air. Yeah, the, the, the aircraft tracks are kind of underpowered, but if I had given them another fighting plane, fighting plane. I believe that uh, Soviet would have won because the uh, fighter planes are better than the bombers in the air. That's why they got the track to make it more difficult for Soviet because they have better tanks and artillery already. And uh, Finland's better infantry do not count. Infantry is almost worthless against anything but the infantry. Unless it's the, the snipers or the anti tanks. Yes, multi cocktails of course. All of the flowers. It was difficult to see what's happening in this uh, battle. Unsere 
bit was a van on van. I think that was lucky here. I believe it was because of the planes. Very better than I thought. It should have, give, it should have given Soviet uh, another fighter plane instead of another truck. I think we'll redo this battle and add another fighter plane to the Soviet. Because Finland owned this battle. Only lost 20%, killed 51% already. The Soviet Union's army. Of course, if we had two armies versus one, um, Soviet would have won. That would be too unfair in the game. Plus, with the huge numbers we have here, it will probably lag. If we will replay this battle and give them another fighter, they will have another Jack 9 fighter. It's not the best one, but they will have another plane and one truck. The trucks are so easily killed off by the planes, they can hardly fight them. Soviet can't move most of their starting armies. They would still steamer wall Finland. Oh, Finland's uh, Soviet still has their best tanks. ES3 tanks. They are not entirely defeated. The problem is that tanks suck against planes. Everything suck against planes. So, yeah, Soviet needed another plane. See the Finnish tanks are there. battles to be a bit historical in terms of what units are used but I don't want one faction to have total superiority like uh, if, I, if I would give uh, uh, Soviet two armies here or more uh, not only do I risk the game lagging because of the uh, immense amount of troops in one army but also be too too much for the Finnish army. I believe I tried su such a battle before where I had uh, two Finnish armies against no two Soviet armies against one Finnish. I even maxed out the stats of the Finnish and they still lost easily. So one versus one is the only way to have a fair fight in this mode. But um, there could be issues in, in the campaign when there are more than one army numbers that's why playing on large is recommended to limit down lag 
Just two men have armies in this size would hurt the customer. End the battle. Close victory. So your army is Captain A you know, Finland had 141 men escaped. Captain uh, Lauri Christian of Finland had 3465 men. Uh, and Captain Nikita of the Soviet Union 3465. So they had similar numbers in this battle. Total unhistorical, you know. Finland is supposed to have like uh, six times uh, against them um, like uh, they should be fighting six armies alone they wouldn't have a chance then okay not even against two so they killed 1788 so it only killed 782 I believe it's the plane cost that okay I will end the recording here we'll do another video here we will add another plane to to Soviet. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello, I'm back. So now we are playing the same battle again. Now it's a blizzard. Otherwise it's the same battlefield, Karelia, in the winter. Now it's a blizzard instead of a snowstorm. We are playing as Finland against the Soviet Union. We let the AF at AI will move back this unit of armored officers car. And uh, move it far back so it can retreat immediately when the battle starts. The Finnish army is the same as in the other battle. Same planes, the same artillery, the same tanks, the same units. Same anti-tank guns, I mean uh, anti-air guns, uh, anti-aircraft trucks actually, same infantry here a cool unit ski troops anyway, the balance of forces is evenly matched a lot of tanks too 72 tanks in a unit 2 units of T-34 tanks captured from the Soviets during the Winter War and two units of uh, German Panzer IV tanks that they have bought from Germany or been given from uh, by Germany ok, let's start the battle, pause the game this time also the Soviet Union will attack, they are the attacker and Finland is the uh, defender they have one more unit of Jack 9 planes in this battle. They have um, only one unit of anti aircraft trucks now, and one unit of MiG 9s. So they have two units of Jack 9 planes. They are the worst, worst of the two fighter planes that they have. Uh, so these red planes, they have another unit of them now. And we'll do better because of it. Because the anti aircraft trucks we are taken out very, very easily by the U-88 twin engine bombers I believe in this battle the, uh, the fight will be more uh, more difficult for Finland just one, one unit of fighter planes can make a difference in the battle let's start the battle Finland is moving forward their jeeps they are the other ones that uh, should defend the battle. Cool ski troops skiing forward as well. This they thought the Soviets were the ones that uh, were supposed to attack. It's a bit difficult to see what's happening in this terrain. So it started to fire the artillery. The 
has a long range. Triller is actually one of the better uh, uh, like units in the game. Because they have a huge uh, distance they can fire. But I believe uh, they are easy to take out by uh, planes and tanks too. So they are not very good defending. They are good attacking units. We have the Soviet Armada there. Sides, but of course they still have different quality in, in, in their troops. Here we have the Katyusha rocket trucks, they are really good. Their new projectile, they even look like rockets now. Much better this projectile. In the past I believe they used the same projectile as the catapults of Manila from the war. Now they use a new one that looks like an actual rocket from such a unit. It's a real cool projectile. Soviet will be a real fun faction to play as. Uh, I believe that the Mao faction also has two rocket trucks now. I added the, the, the unit to them. Such a unit in history. Those rocket trucks are really powerful. I believe the new projectile is not as powerful as the old one. Uh, but uh, they are more numerous and it looks way better when they fire it. So that's one of the new projectiles, version 2.1. And they move to the sub mod. Allies 27% kill, enemies 24%. So Finland is leading. I believe uh, when they lost previously, when I didn't record like half a year ago, or a year ago actually, it was back in October or November, I believe, 2021. Um, I believe that Finland lost against two armies of Soviet. Despite Soviet having way more infantry than those armies, still Finland lost. They might win this time, despite the fact that they gave Soviet an entire new unit of planes that replaced the second unit of anti aircraft trucks. The U 88 have uh, become really good now because they are not as easily shot down in the past. I believe when I played the German campaign version 1.3 with some edits by me I believe that the plane still was underpowered yeah, it would be easily taken out of the sky I didn't like that. It was supposed to be one of the later planes, the one before the jets. Still they were 
taken out immediately. So I improved their stats. I believe they are more like the, the, the booing and hits now. Slightly weaker, I believe. Just union. Still have their artillery here. Firing. Two armies versus one. I feel instead that, that uh, might be a little bit laggy. There are still planes in the air. The Soviet is not defeated. Submarine for loss. Okay. This time they lost 33% instead of just 20%. Killed 46% of the enemy. So Soviets still did better with the Jack 9s. Maybe they should get uh, two units of MiG 9s instead. And it would probably still end in a loss, I think. Uh, so I think uh, two armies instead would be good, but uh, mostly infantry, but still with a clear advantage in planes and uh, tanks. Especially infantry should be way more than the finish. I plan on continuing the, the American campaign that I started back in October, I believe. Problem is I need to process every video. Yeah, unlike in, in most other games, where band can work, so I can just upload the video after the, the video has been recorded. With NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder, I need to process the video. I tried using band cam, but... Uh, in fact, I played, I believe, the last Urban Death of the War a few months back and uh, played over an hour and then redid everything I did in the video I posted a year ago and a year and a half ago actually and then only a few minutes were recorded and battle. 
Lasst uns die Toten begraben und weiter geht es. Okay, so Finland has the same culture as Germany. Uh, the same uh, voices. It's German voices from Finland. Okay, Captain Weiner. Vio, 2465. We had the same numbers on both sides. Uh, but Finland killed more. They killed 638 and Soviet killed 1241. They still did way better than in the last battle where the Soviet I believe, killed only 700. So uh, three Jack 9s were better, just not good enough. <laughs> could try a battle with the uh, MiG 9s. Or we could give Soviet a clear advantage in numbers. I think we'll go for that. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. See you soon, bye. Alright, Mr. Milne here, we're back in the War 1942, a mod for the War Barbarian Invasion and the vanilla game. We need to play with Barbarian Invasion or the World War. Okay, so here is our general, we will retreat. We are this time playing as the Soviet Union and fighting the Finns on the same battlefield of Karelia during winter time. It's still a blizzard because I felt it was more accurate real life inspired by the winter war let's see here the Soviet Union this time we can take a look at the army before starting the battle so they have uh, two units of MiG-9 now their best fighter plane and one unit of Jack 9s the red plane here it's also a fighter plane Soviet didn't have any bombers that's why they got the, the American one but in this battle they won't use it because it's against Finland don't believe America would land lease any planes against Finland okay so here we have the riflemen the Soviet Union and uh, more riflemen Just one unit of riflemen, I believe. But they have two units of, I believe, and tank guns this time because they are fewer in numbers. They felt they needed to be two in order to fight that unit of uh, Molotov throwers. This is actually much more numerous. Then we have the anti tank units, they have two of them. The scout snipers. Really uh, numerous unit. Okay, then it's one light tanks, only one of them. The light shell projectile. The rocket trucks, as we saw in the previous video, or if it's the same video, I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm gonna upload them separately or. I'm gonna make all the battles with Soviet and Finland one, uh, one video. We saw in the previous battle that we uh, have a new projectile that is much more accurate to history and looks actually really nice. But it's not as powerful as the old one. We have these uh, heavy artillery pieces. The S-51. And this smaller one, the Su-18. The Stokes Mortal Artillery. Every faction has. We have the Armored Officer's Car Bodyguard. Then we have their tanks. More of the tanks. We have the T-34s. We have our T-3485s have a bigger turret, I believe. This is a T-34. Yeah, the turret is bigger. This one, it lacks the red star too. T-3485s. this artillery piece, the ML-20 and this one, the Su-57 
five. And with the ES3 heavy tanks in the back, your heavy shells. They have a similar shell to the Tigers and King Tigers. In this sub mod. And we have their planes. And they have two units of the MiG 9 best fighters. I believe they I also gave the Jak 9s to the Mao faction. So every faction needed planes, but the uh, Mao didn't get any bombers. Uh, so and they only got the worst plane that the Soviet has. So Soviet still has better planes than, than the Mao faction. But they have the Yak 9s. Soviet of course have the MiG 9s too. Okay. Start to battle and retreat with our little unit here. I believe the Soviets will attack. Forward there at the aircraft tracks. Have yeah, big numbers of those. Also moving forward there as assault riflemen. So the the, the aircraft tracks can take out take take out uh, planes, but they are very easy to bomb from the air. So they are not very defensible. I can take out a few planes before being obliterated from the air. It's way better to have planes than to have an aircraft trucks. So the maximum numbers of planes uh, are very numerous in one unit. Here are the Eeps, Here is Finland's army. See the projectiles of the rocket trucks there. Finnish tanks arriving. Yeah, these projectiles are really cool. They look like rockets too. the ski troops in them down that hill can't do much against the planes they left some tanks in them seems Finland will win again 
Yeah, I believe Soviet need at least two armies, or one and a half armies, to be able to win against Finland. I believe the U88s are the reason that Finland is winning, too. They are very effective now with the increased health and hit points. We are worthless previously when they were taken out immediately. Now they are really effective. unit Of course, in the campaign, uh, while Finland might be able to win a battle or so, because they won many battles against the Holds in real life, so it's not impossible that they would win a battle when they have the same numbers. Um, but in uh, the campaign, I believe the Soviet would have a million armies, so Finland would be like winning Imperial victories, and then they would run out of men. wouldn't be able to recruit enough troops in time to, to stop their defeat. Also, Germany might be uh, betrayed them too. They might be attacked by both Germany and so the campaign. And uh, total diplomacy doesn't work, and the, the, the enemy has two, two superior numbers, and they will betray you immediately, even if you force them back into an alliance or make them a protectorate. Making an enemy a, a protectorate works if the enemy is weaker, not if they are stronger. Yeah, I believe Finland won again. This time I believe it went worse. They lost 31%, I believe they lost 33% in the previous battle, and 20% in the first. Here are some Soviet troops. Soviet would be fun to play in the campaign with all their new troops. And the rocket trucks and such. And their numbers. But I'm playing the United States. Look at the skip troops. They have their guns on the rulers. And they fire. It's really cool. Then they place them on the back and they move. They go back to Syrianus. Did a good job on, on the models and the animations. He's the same guy that uh, that has made the Lord of the Rings to the War Remastered for Total War Remastered. 
he made this mod too, together with Salazar. I only did the minor stuff, including adding all the codes I believe from World War II. That's the main thing that I did. I believe 207 codes were added straight from history. Found found a good site with the codes and, and added everything. Took me, I believe, a night, a bunch of hours at least. happening over here. Uh, it's a dog fight. Soviet is losing that fight too. Finland has the numerical advantage. What about this area? Starting with Finland versus Soviet. As Finland has some really cool units and Soviet too. We'll, we'll do more fights after this one with other factions. Maybe Soviet versus other factions. I think I will avoid doing. Yeah, battles where they are like three factions versus three or something because with, with these huge numbers it would lag too much I believe I could try it <laughs> or we'll do one versus one Soviet still has the artillery here. Yeah. Degwex Vex was uh, porting this mod to the remote too. But of course Lord of the Rings is much more popular. So I think he did the right choice to, to, to focus on it. Instead, when he got permission to port it. historical title like this could never fight Lord of the Rings. However, this is very unique uh, historical title set in the Second World War. Very unique for, for a mod. Other mod had done that before. There were some that did it on Medieval 2, but none of them had good uh, working planes or tanks that moved their turrets. animations and such. Game locked. Can happen in both medieval 2 and road. Sucks, but the battle was over. Finland uh, won again. Thank you for watching.